Well, hello there. Humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, prepare to be rock sock shocked and mocked as we look at the bamboozling antics of a couple of Tom Fools going about World of Tanks Blitz. Now, I don't mean to be crude, but my goodness gracious me, this new event has been a pain in my buttocks. Uh, many... Many, many other people who've been sending me replays with things like 17k grill game. <laughs> and I, the first time I looked at it, I was like, I was in Singapore and I was like, what in the world is going on here? <laughs> and then, of course, since I have played it and I've been really enjoying it, and everyone, it seems, has been enjoying this. Wargaming needs to take a bit of a bow here. They have experimented quite severely, and I know a lot of the diehards and the old salts and the the people won't like these games, and a lot of them do like these games. A lot of people see them for what they are. They're welcome releases from, uh, you know, a game that's been played a hell of a lot by some of us, 50, 60,000 games. Um, and as someone pointed out to me the other day, when someone was having a go about uh, this game mode in a chat that I was in, um, if you can't get a game in the normal game mode, it's because not a lot of people are playing it compared to this game mode. And maybe you should have a look about your popular opinion, possibly being an unpopular opinion. Uh, this game is hilarious. And there's a couple of games that were sent to me that I... Uh, one of them's a Lever game. There's another E100 game. Uh, this is a Smashana and a Yag Panther 2 game. As if the Smasher wasn't broken enough already. Bamboozle mode turned up and the Smasher has just become hilarious. Like, just, just crazy. The idea that you can turn tanks around like a hurricane and zoom around nude, naked, and, you know, just ready for love. These are crazy ideas and concepts. But when you put them on a tank like the Smasher and you make it go faster than 20 kilometers an hour, then I start getting a little bit scared to go out at night. This game was interesting because... It, well, there's bamboozling. He's been bamboozled again. The hurricane has struck. Bam freaking boozled. You can't tell me that there's not a bunch of kids running around with broomsticks at Wargaming HQ yelling shenanigans because that's exactly what this feels like. Shenanigans. Oh, is he going to blind shot that? Is it there? No, it's behind the other wall. You crazy big dog, you. I also like the fact that everyone gets three lives. So you get to go muck around, get to choose different special abilities. And I do want to talk a little bit about the, the game mode itself. It is... It is very, very different. I've got to say, I really think that the core part of this concept, getting multiple lives, may be a very, very important factor if Wargaming want to boost the kind of, well, not so much player base, but look, there it goes again. That bamboozle, the hurricane bamboozle, it is, oh, he's been bamboozled twice. Just thrust and bust. I love it. Bouncing shots everywhere. This is not a good place for you, Mr. Lagan. Oh, uh, like it. I love it. Oh, everyone's going berserk and he's down. Uh, the idea of it has been almost like a constantly respawning uh, multi-team skirmish. I think that's got real legs. I'd love to see like a three five-man team game where every team goes for a capture the flag moment in the middle uh, and it's a timer and it's the first one to get to a thousand points kind of thing, wins the game and screw the amount of deaths you get. I think that would be a really fun event and uh, maybe I should talk to someone at Wargaming about that and patent it before I carry on like a pork chop because I think it's got legs. I think it's got legs. Oh, he's been bamboozled. Look at the KV-1S. Oh, and a double bamboozle. It's just unbelievable. So much bamboozling going on. And this mode is obviously enjoyable because it's crazy. Like, it's absolutely mental. There's like a Japanese supercar with pick stuff coming out from underneath it and just charging in and bamboozling crazy looking tanks and tanks pretending they're dead like as a as a mode of self-defense like you're gonna see a tiger start creeping up along the corner here in a sec which is absolutely glorious and he's gonna hit his he's gonna hit his i'm dead button and uh just keep rolling forward though it just looks amazing like if you don't have situational awareness bamboozle mode will destroy you there's no way around it it's here he comes he's been bamboozled look at that the count starts again on the bamboozle hurricane. Oh, there's the dead tiger. He's lost 1,450 hit points. And he's just rolling down the right side of the map like your uncle at the end of Christmas Day. Like, yeah, no, totally dead, but also still very much alive. Um, 
last mode. He's done done all the all the big blows. Uh, it's come to naught. He's got one choice left, and he's he's chosen the Inferno. The shell explodes and causes lots of damage. Oh, here we go. Let's start off by going 50 kilometers an hour in a smasher with lots of gear running around us like an extra from the Starship Enterprise. Boom, sideways around the corner. Didn't expect to see you there. Obviously, the feeling's very mutual. Oh, bamboozle on the Tiger One. That's right. Everyone loves a little bit of the am oozle. Uh, you couldn't ban him. Now, things are actually pretty interesting here. There is a degree of tactics as you get towards the end of this game. Um, yeah, that's that time. That time he really went down. There was no mucking around. That time the tiger went kapowie. Uh, and things are looking rough. A very lucky bounce off the buttocks there. Oh, holy ball sacks. What just happened then? I mean, I still look at this and I'm just... It, it's like a Tom and Jerry cartoon at times. And I don't know that that's a bad thing. I really don't. I think it's fun. I think people are having actual honest-to-God fun with this. And uh, anyone who doesn't, you know, doesn't support the idea of people having fun. <coughs> Sorry, I got a cough in Singapore. I haven't been able to shake it. It's a grub. How do you like them apples, grubs? 859, and then I'm going to reverse it. 32 kilometers an hour. What an incredible effort. One hit point left. Got to love that. That's a brilliant mode. Um, this KV-1S, obviously going along very, very quickly, but not quickly enough. This guy's done 9,000 damage, by the way. 9,000 damages. That's that's a lot of damages. Oh, he's been bamboozled and he's missed him anyway. Just a crazy, crazy game. I, don't, I can't commentate. This, this is like trying to commentate a, a cat attempting to herd sheep. This is this is not a good place to be if you're an esports aficionado. But I'll tell you what it is right now is a very, very fast smasher with a very, very big gun and an awful lot of intemperate disposition looking to say good day and meet hands across the mountain with this tiger one. Oh, he sets him on fire. The bamboozle is nearly up too. Have a look. This tiger's going to burst the corner. But it doesn't matter what happens. He was going to be bamboozled, even if he had to come around this corner. And my Amigo here with the Japanese racing lights on the underside of the Nissan Bluebird hadn't have done that. Uh, he would have been absolutely 100% bamboozled. Hurricane, in the eye of the storm. X-Men, all that kind of stuff. This game is just broken. Insane. Absolutely nuts. I don't know what superpower the Yag Panther 2's got. I've got a feeling it's not invisibility, uh, but he uses it for, for good. He certainly uses it for good. Whoa. Yep, absolutely. Whatever that is, uh, I want it. I want to buy three of them, and I want one in a large size, one in an extra large size, and uh, one in a medium in case I drop a lot of weight over Chrissy when I'm on the low carbs. The T49, obviously coming out sideways, is still a bamboozle mode uh, favorite. Uh, spotted. You spotted, buddy. Oh, hello. Can't quite get the gun down there. The IS-5. What does the IS-5 do? Does he have the twist and turn, shake it round kind of thing? The go fast thing? The invisible thing? Who knows? This is a prime position. Prime position for the Ag Panther 2. Tiger 2. Come across. Oh! Apparently that round turns a Tiger 2 into T-28 Defender. Or possibly the T-28 Defender just got spotted. Oh, hello, T-54 Lightweight. Bad day for you, my friend. 871 damage inflicted. Don't worry. That number's going north in a big bloody way. Ooh, that was ugly. That's the uh, tier 9 out there, the Centurion 7 and 1. I don't know what effect he has upon the match, but I'll tell you what. That Tiger 2 is just desperate to drive in front and save that T28 Defender. And they are swapping, you know... Oh, hang on. A lot of stuff coming out the side of that Tiger 2 there. Not sure what that is. Pink purpley gear could possibly need to see a specialist about that one maybe a little bit of something he picked up on a big holiday in bangkok uh here comes the centurion 701 the yag panther 2 making every post a winner there as he angles dangles and the tiger 2 is desperate for another drink of the big 460 alpha and i believe oh he's been bamboozled someone has bamboozled him and he knows it's time just to leave the scene of the crime get out of there Stop showing off that weak posterior and get that hull down action going. Boom! All the damage is up to 3.2k. Big numbers, big numbers. Show me them big numbers. No way, no way, no way. 
Tiger 2, you have been begging for this. Another one down and two kills on the Yag Panther 2's dance ticket. He is looking like an absolute star here as the Centurion 7 and 1 decides that sideways is the way that he would like to come out. And doesn't he get away with an absolute Muppet move there? He was 100% active and available for all comers. Doesn't get away with it twice though and uses that excessively weak side armor of the British tank to make sure that the Yag Panther 2 clicks over a step closer towards 4K. Here's the T28 Defender. Yep, someone's going to bamboozle someone here any moment now. You know what would be a tragedy is if someone won this one on the cap. Don't worry, that's not going to happen. That IS-5 is moving faster than Chicken Vindaloo through a senior citizen. I cannot believe he's got up there. He must have been doing 60. 115 hit points left. Yet to go down, though. He's got a couple of lives left. Oh, he's been bamboozled. And shows off, presents the weak posterior and takes a full measure of devotion from the Tiger 2, who is now back on track. The Centurion 7-1 and one, still yet to make his mark on the game over there. The Tier 9 for the red team. Yet to get the kill, but he's probably been doing a yeoman's bit of work in the in the tight. Uh, now we see the Yak Panther 2 going up at light speed. Really looking to make the most of... Oh, hang on. Watch out. The IS-5. Is the IS-5 bamboozle active? We're going to find out in just a short while. A lot of pace here out of the Yag Panther 2. He wants to get involved. And Willie Shoot, he's at 5.5k damages. Looking every inch the champion. And he's got two lives under the belt. So he can afford to be eaten once by Pac-Man. And, uh, and get hit in the head once by uh, Wreck-It Ralph or whatever it is. And he'll still be able to come back and play another round of Galaga at the local milk bar. The T28 Defender showing just a tiny bit of tail. Showing a lot more tail. The Chain Lightning. I think he's rolling uh, Diablo 2. He's pretending to be dead. I don't think he's fooled. Not even a little bit. He's thinking about it. Hello, Dorothy. Where did that go? Absolutely not where he wanted it to go. The Bamboozle is on. Ah, the Borsig. He's platoon, mate. Doing good things. Couple of German TDs just supping upon the life force. Enemy has been destroyed. Hello, IS-5. Oh, Double hit, triple hit. Love that chain lightning feel. He's going to be able to take down Beelzebub anytime now. If anyone's uh, Balrog or whatever it was in Diablo 1, when you'd run the chain lightning spell, loved it. Couldn't get enough of it. Got on the back of the PC magazine. Watch out for that ISU 152. Angle, angle, angle. Things are looking very tense now as we move towards 9.3K in the damages, which is just an obscene amount of damages. And we love big numbers here at Bush Grand Blitz. As the Yag Panther 2 starts to feel his way for the Centurion 7 and 1 says, I haven't come out sideways for a while. Uh... Possibly I'll come out sideways here and see what happens. And there's been a bamboozle down on the right flank there for the red team. This T-54 lightweight wasn't happy losing hit points before. Bloody hell. What happened there? That IS-5 just got hit for 1,200. How in the world did that happen? The Yag Panther 2 has done something very, very special there. I don't understand what happened. Maybe one of the viewers can uh, talk me through it. Bloody hell. I, I'm... You know what? That's like a bamboozle on the commentator. I've got absolutely no clue what's going on here. Oh, chain lightning everywhere. Uh, he's rolled both the dice and it's come up. Uh, the dungeon master has said, Ta-ta, buddy! You're the next contestant on Let's Get Wrecked Together. Uh, there's the tier 9, the VK45 O2B. Only one... One pawn of Satan left. One bad red dude. And I have a feeling he might be hankering for a spankering at the back of the map as we roll forward with Team Justice and Innuendo. Can he Can he do the business? No. What? What's he doing here? Bang! Chain Lightning 700. Woo-hoo-hoo! <coughs> I believe he's pretending to be dead uh, or he's respawning. Uh, everyone's just waiting here, farming the damages. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. Where is he? Where is he? We're all waiting. Uh, could you just turn up, please, and take your allotted punch in the face? He's been spotted. Uh, he is here somewhere. He's invisible. He's rolling around. He's cruising for a bruising. He's going to pop. There he is. Hello. Get wrecked and like it. 1,310 damage. It's just insanity. This, this game mode's nuts. More next time.